We're now ready for the first speaker, and our first speaker is Julia Davis Wheeler, and she will be followed by James Caswell. That's Kulalik. That means good evening in Nespers. Gentlemen, my name is Julia Davis Wheeler. J U L I A D A V I S dash W H E E L E R. We have prepared comments and we have submitted them for the record. So I'm going to go off bullets. But first of all, I'd like to um, thank you for the opportunity to comment on the proposed rule. The gray wolf, the gray wolf, is a species of cultural significance to the Nespers tribe. In addition, the tribe and the wolf share many significant historic parallels during the settlement of the West. Because of these cultural and historical ties, the Nespers tribe has been an advocate for wolf recovery and conservation in the northern Rocky Mountains for the past 15 years. Over the past decade, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and the Nespers tribe have worked hand in hand to achieve our mutual goal to recover wolves across Idaho and northern Rocky Mountains. Idaho now supports a viable, self-sustaining, recovered wolf population, and the wolf is once again an integral part of our environment and wildlife heritage. We work together to prepare for the challenges ahead to ensure the long-term conservation and management of this magnificent animal. The unacceptable impacts that this rule has. The tribe supports responsible wolf management in concert with other wildlife and social values. Lethal control of wolves on public lands to address ungulate off management concerns and other wildlife values must, however, proceed with caution and carefully thoughtful deliberation. Because of the political nature of the wolf management, wolf control can easily be can become a political solution with unsatisfactory management results. To assure such control of wolves is warranted and will effectively address identified ungulate management concerns Control programs must be carried out in a scientific framework with a clear biological understanding and evidence of impacts and an effective monitoring element to evaluate the success of control programs. The NISPERS tribe supports the services proposed protocols and criteria for developing science-based wolf control plans for service review and approval. The tribe agrees with the service that wolf predation is most likely to be, a contrib to be a contributing rather than a primary cause for ungulate population trends. As such, the tribe supports the service's proposed language change in the definition of unacceptable impacts. I'd like to um, skip forward to what the tribe does not support. The tribe does not support the impact of population decline. The Nespers tribe does not support controlling wolves for reasons other than demonstrated impacts to population numbers, such as ungulate distribution, use of feeding areas, movements, behavior, nutrition, and other factors not directly related to vital population demographics. The tribe does support and believes that the wolves should be given additional safeguards on public lands. The tribe believes recreational users on public lands should share some of the responsibility of using those lands safely. The tribe supports lethal take of wolves to protect private property on public lands as long as the public land users 
make reasonable attempts to avoid conflicts with wolves. We advocate adopting criteria that ensures public land users are responsibly protecting their property before lethal take of wolves on public land is authorized. Such criteria may include not camping in wolf dens or rendezvous sites, <coughs> not turning dogs out in areas with evidence of current wolf activity, or not hanging game meat near stocks or pets. In conclusion, the Nez Perce tribe again thanks you for the opportunity to comment and wishes to state that the service through established regulations will have a great influence over future attitudes towards wolves and the direction of wolf management. The tribe encourages the service to lead by example, advocating for responsible management and long-term conservation of the species. The Nez Perce tribe will be developing and submitting more detailed written comments, including suggestions for addressing these and other concerns. But that means thank you in Nez Perce for this opportunity. Thank you, Ms. Wheeler, for your comments on behalf of the Nez Perce tribe.